let me um, first of all talk about what is needed right, um, for uh, comprehension close passage. So first of all, there are two types of words essentially that um, a student will be tested out of 15 uh, blanks. Of course, in Connectors, we've been using 20 blanks uh, just to stretch the students a little bit so that once they get into that, they develop that stamina, they will be more comfortable uh, when they handle PSLE um, exam format, right, which is 15 words. So out of the 15 blanks, some of them will be content words, words related to the subject. Now, all comprehension close passages should be non-fiction, should be information report or some, some sort of report, right? Uh, because if we have a, a fictional passage, the words can um, sometimes, multiple words can fit into the right uh, blank, right? Can fit into the blank. So it is very difficult to contextualize a word within the passage if it is fiction. Therefore, most, if not all, comprehension closed passages are non-fiction, right? So then there are words connected to the subject, but it is, not also, it is also not a spelling test, which means that students don't have to worry that um, they will not know how to spell the words because if that word is necessary in that passage or in that blank, the, word, the same word will appear somewhere in the passage because the point of this test is comprehension, not vocabulary, right? And some words, some blanks will require students to think in terms of English usage, right? So there are contextual words like um, some connectors, intensifiers, right? Many or few, right? Phrasal verbs as well, prepositions, etc. So these are all language words, right? Hi, this is Dr. Daniel Chua. I hope the video that you have just watched uh, will be helpful to your child in preparation for PSLE English. So if you are interested to sign up for any of our programs, please feel free to check out this uh, QR code and then you can then uh, find out more about what we do to help our students at Connectors Academy. All right, thank you.